Welcome gamers to Namaya. Namaya is a game that's just coming out at the moment. It's, in fact, it's just released today. Uh, it's a really cool little game. It's a beer and pretzels game. So it, it, it's not very onerous to play. It's pretty quick to get sort of like each actual little mission. The missions are randomly generated. So I love procedural generation. And this one ticks all the boxes for me. Uh, I like quick games too, to be honest. And so this is one where it's very simplistic the way it does actually work. I've only played like a like a few, really really a few minutes of it, and I already know I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, there's, as I said, lots of random generation. Uh, let's just go through what we're seeing through here. Essentially, you're a necromancer, and you've got these different soul points or essence, and you gain these by killing off humans in the in the actual missions. The missions come into these four different areas. You start off only in the graveyard, and then have to sort of make your way through the different levels of the gra graveyard. Now, ultimately, you will have choice, and we'll. Show you, I'll show you this as we as we get through it. Um, but you need to first of all summon in your undead horde, and they take essence. And so we summon in so summon a new unit that costs five essence. So when I click this, it then brings in, for example, this is uh, a fa like this is now gone down to fifteen, and we now actually have a archer unit. So we've got an archer unit in through here. Uh, there's four different types at this stage. So we've got like a, a warrior unit back and through here. They've got different random abilities. Uh, we've got an archer unit. And you can see there the first one here we have is overwatch. So um, watches over line of sight area. Uh, first uh, enemy to enter the line of sight is shot using this ends the turn. And so that is uh, essentially like that's the ability. These come up randomly. So you're going to have these sort of randomly in the different characters. We also then have a mage unit, which are, uh, these are both long range unit. And then we have a berserker unit. So they're the four different units that we start with. They also individually have different traits, which you get to control as to which ones you choose as they level up. As I say, it's a, it's a very, very simplistic game, but done very, very well with uh, with a lot of replay value. So let's just go back in and we'll summon in all four. There's a berserker, a second berserker, and we did get a mage unit. This is a good little mix, actually. Now, to go into these sort of runs, we um, we need to choose a team of four to go into it, and we can only we can only afford the four. That's now spent all of our points. So let's just go and select all of these. That means that they're selected for the mission. We'll go and click on the mission over through here, and we can then start the mission. Now, this is randomly generated. It's very simplistic the way it does actually work. Now, we've started off in the graveyard. If we start off in these sorts of areas, it protects us from different units. They can still try to, to hit us, but we do actually have uh, protection, you know, for, uh, essentially to sort of to work things through. It's a very simple system, a little bit like Age of Wonders uh, in, in the sense you've got three action points for what you're going to then go and do. But if I, you can see if I move through there, I'm, it's going to chew up one action point. To move to there is going to be two action points. To move to there is all three action points will then go. I won't have an attack if I move over in that in that sense. WASD will then sort of move me around. The uh, humans do get some abilities. Now we also have, if I go and click on the unit, I can click on any unit that I like. Actually, I'm not sure how I can show what he does. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, outside of the game we can sort of see what their what their stats are. I su wouldn't be surprised if there's a way we can do it, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, I think that that's within range. So I'm just going to move this one. In fact, I may even be able to attack it from here. Actually, there we go. Hit 83%, damage 20 to 25. Well, let's just go and have a shot from here. So we did a, a fair bit of damage. He's down to 7. We'll just do that again. So that's he's gone. Um, now, the others are going to have to come out of this little building in here and walk it out around. They're most likely going to come down through this opening. They can't really get through any other way. But they do also have a ranged attack. So um, we're not going to be able to sort of hit that one through there. What I might do is I might set this one up now just with, with movement. I can move into a different location. I think that's a good spot for him. Now the berserkers, we're going to be wanting them to um, to be able to shoot at distance. I'm going to move the I'm going to move Osmond back um, just to there for now, and then we'll just move the berserkers up. So with the Thea Wolf, now they're going to have to get out and about. He's got like a special ability here of rend, 
and this one as well. I'm just going to move these just so they've got the protection of these uh, of these tombstones. And Osman, I will just move this one back down in behind here, just so that we've got got them protected from the uh, from what's going on. Let's just end the turn. Okay, they didn't do anything. That's interesting. So we lose two points. We lose three if we move up to there. And we'll move this one up as well. Ah, oh, I didn't actually, I should have ended my turn. So they're running out of action points. He's going to get one shot, and he did do eleven damage. I had missed. I've missed. I've missed. Sort of construed what was happening there. Let's just go through and see what sort of damage we can do. Sixty-six percent. Yeah, they're all sixty-six. Is that? I'll still take it. It's twenty-one. Let's try it again. It's killed. And that was good. Good shots all round. Okay, let's go to Osmond now. Now, Osmond has still two action points left over through here. Attack is 57%, 42 for the one at the back. And we missed with that last one. Let's go to Cassian. Still gonna have two shots. And he'll then be able to finish this one off. It's his hundred percent chance to hit. And one one point left. There we go. So we got different experience depending on what we did in the in the fight. So twenty five experience for Steinar. Uh, he gained the poison trait. Um, Cassian gained the the wide swings trait and thirteen hit points. Uh, thirteen experience for him. And Osmond also got ten experience points as well for that one. Gain soul each trait. So they're gaining traits because of their in interaction in the actual battle itself. Just go continue. And so now what you'll see is we've now got one level of the graveyard done. And um, <clears throat> we've got sort of like some, some, um, some mission sort of markers in through here. Now we have three different missions. So we have one, and these are random. These come up randomly uh, for you, like the choice of three. When you finish a mission, that's what this is what actually happens. Now, nobody leveled up, so let's just go back through and do it again and um, get into it. Now, what else did I want to show this one? You can end the run, which basically means that you end up with what you do. If we go back into menu, I will show this. So this is just giving us a bit of a rundown as to what we actually have, a, a summary of the of the run that we're doing. But we can go to a new run. When you choose this one, you've got then your different difficulty levels back and through there, so in through this other side. So um, uh, let's just go and press that one for, for starters, but I, I won't actually do that one. I'm just going to end that run. Um, destroy and we'll just go back to, and, and keep on playing this one here so you do actually have choice in, a, in the uh, different runs that you do this also is random by the way and so these are sort of like the well, it says weeks but it's sort of almost like a, each battle comes up through here and so it tells you what's coming up ahead and this is random as well so you've got like just a regular week, regular week, regular week then we have fog so range attacks are harder to land in the thick fog now we've got five more points. Now this one here is mission kill all humans for, uh, are plotting an attack. Um, so I'm not sure what that one does. It must be in this in this fifth in this fifth fifth turn. We've got now five essence by killing the humans, and so we're going to summon in another one. I think um, we do. I wouldn't mind just getting a warrior. Yeah, great. We got one. So uh, let's keep on going with with all the different characters. Now we can actually have a look at them in detail to see what they've actually got. So the warrior has got like 150 points, does 35 damage like on, on average. This one has come in with the self heal, so heal self uh, for attacking damage, so 10% off the missing hit points, which is good. Um, yeah, everything is, is pretty cool with this one. This one looks good actually. Now we're going to be wanting to take in Steinar again. I will take in Dragon Slav or Drago, Drago, Drago Slav. I'll take in Osmond, and um, 
I'll take in Cassian as well because they're going to be close to leveling up. So we'll just go in and um, I can't bring the fourth one in. So let's go and do... Let's do a, a, a survive eight rounds. Now this is a human... This, it's a, this is a typo. <laughs> Six human strength. Uh, so a moderate size area reward. We end up with two, another two essence. So you survive eight rounds. So again, random, randomly positioned. Now we do actually again have good protection in where we are. Um, let's have a look and see what's around. Now again, there's the mausoleum. Not sure what sort of character these are. These look to be warriors, I think. Actually, we, out in the other in the regular um, screen, you can get to see what they actually are. But I'm not sure what these are either. Anyway, they're they're all fairly weak. But um, we can't really sort of get out from in here, so I'm just going to go and move this one out to that position, and we can then go into Overwatch. Cassian. Move Cassian out to this other side. We have to, we've got good protection back in here. Leave that one there. And then Drago Slav. Right. And we'll just end the turn. Yeah, so it looks like they're melee with their pitchforks. I like this as well. Like you can still keep on moving a long way, even after your action points are done. That was a um, we'd got the Overwatch kicking in there. It's a nice game. It's very very nice. Even the, I like the lighting effects. It's just a, it's very simple, but it's just done well. All right, so um, let's just keep on attacking these. This one here is the most uh, dangerous, I think. Down, that's good. It was a critical hit by the looks of things. Now these, I wish you could tell when you hovered over them just how far they could go. Um, if I move that one back. Yeah, unfortunately, if I, I can't, I have to have one of them selected at all times. Still got one more shot here, but I'm just not sure about the others. Let's just go and hit hit one of these. It's a 66. That's a hundred percent. Well, let's finish that one off. All right, then we've got Cassian. Um, How to move him back? He may have to. He may have to stay in the fight. Now we have uh, chain lightning. Yeah, we can't really. It's a range of eight, which we don't really get to do that one. So let's just go and move up. there so a bit of extra damage for those okay we'll need to turn there The 
Ransom will have a shot. Percent, hundred percent there. This one's been fairly useful. That's good. And then we just do Overwatch. Ah, oh, that one was inside the area. Unfortunately for Overwatch, I had meant to uh, move them back. Just go back to Osmond. Now we're on cooldown in here for the chain lightning. Just move him back. Uh, Cassian. Move back into here. And um, Dragoslav, I'm going to leave the Dragoslav back out there. I don't think there's anything else over this way. You were not seeing anything else coming back in. So I'm just going to use the self heal. So 10% of um, of the missing HP will then come back in. So he's back up to 150. That's fine. Um, we'll end our turn here. More reinforcements coming. Hiding in there. What's that one? That's fifty percent. Then you're sixteen. We'll get rid of this one. And then we go to Osmond. Let's just move down a little bit. Okay, that one's dead. Nice. So you can't move after you attack by the looks of things. Now, there's no other humans on here at the moment, but we're still just in waves. Not sure what we can do here. Notice it does this a bit, where I'm sort of stuck with a unit. I'm just going to pause until I can figure out what to do. I, I got out of it when I was testing it. I'm pressing space works for some reason. I'm not sure why. Just put that one into Overwatch. Um, I'll keep that one back where it is. There we go. Reinforcements are coming, and we did get a. Uh, we missed that one. Now we're protected in there. It's these range units which are the, the uh, problem for us more than anything. Oops, I didn't mean to do Overwatch. Oh well. <laughs> <clears throat> going to pop uh, Dragoslav back into here. Whoops, that one can't move. Leave that one where that is as well. And you can move into here.
So that one was within in range. So this one should be getting a lot of experience with what he do, what he can do. Just need the two shots that do go in. Now we'll go to Overwatch. Oh, he took the shot. Well, really nothing much we can do there. Yes, yeah, so the space is just in turn. Miss. Oh, I should have waited again. Don't know if I can go back. Yeah, now once I've actually entered the turn with the unit, that's pretty much the end of it. Good. We do have hemorrhage, but we're going to get more stronger, uh, more strong units. Do a bit of damage out this way. Missed. Let's get our, our health back. Ah, oh, looks like we can't do it. Just end our turn here. Oh, this isn't good. We are hidden a bit. We take too much damage. We then become injured. Oh, this isn't good either. It happened to spawn in behind us. Okay, we did last the eight turns, so, so we uh, so we did okay there. Now we took a lot of damage from Osmond and also from uh, Dragoslav. Uh, we do have the, we, he gained the bleed trait with his with his attacks. And that was good. So we sort of uh, did a fair bit through there. So we completed that particular mission. Then we've got these kill alls in through this other side. So um, you can see we're sort of now getting closer and closer to this fog fog event. We've now got a blood moon coming up as well. Now these are all random. Uh, every run you do will be completely different. Yeah. So what we can do here is we do actually have our book of the dead showing us what we've what we've got. We also have a book of the living. So we can see what the different sorts of of, um, of units are that are coming back in, and so a peasant relentless and with every uh, uh, with a very sharp pitchfork, and then this one here is a rock thrower peasant, always the first one to throw stones. <laughs> we don't know what the others are. We haven't unlocked these yet, so that's sort of where we are with the living. We also then have book of achievements, so different things that you've then been able to do. Um, so meet those different guys, and here's the other ones. So uh, meet the pyro peasant, uh, meet the forester archer. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of different things that do come up, like the um, Destiny Archer, Holy Touch, the Priest, Chad the Warrior. Yeah, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. Doing your part, win a mission. Yep. So you sort of, like, it's just, it's a very simple but fun game. Um, uh, what else is there to look at? I think that's about it, really, to be honest. Uh, until we sort of get through the graveyard, then we sort of open up the forest, the village, the fort, etc., with more unlocks coming in. Now, we've got only got two essence from that last one. Everyone's still actually, no one got injured enough to need to sit out a week, but they can be injured. We still haven't got a level up. I wanted to show the level ups. I'll do one more run. I'll do one more run. This is actually a bit stronger now. Um, please, kill, uh, yeah, please kill all the humans. So we're just going to go in again with the with Steiner. I'm surprised if he hasn't leveled up because he's had a lot of kills. Dragoslav, um, yeah, one of those, just one of these. Cassian will do. Okay, and we can't summon, so we'll just go and start. <clears throat> so again, we've only got these first five. Now they're going to be needing to come back out of this other zone. 
let's have a look and see, see what's around us. There's nothing much else up this other side. Alright, so that one can do uh, an attack of 10, I think. Again, I wish it would show you what they actually are. 16%, 16. Yes, they're going to help us. I might move over. It's now 66. It's fine. The um, the pitchfork guys have got to go a long way around. It's really just these two in here that were, are the problem. In fact, there's a third one somewhere else. Oh, there it is, back over there. So they're going to be the issue. Now, Osmond. Um, I'm going to keep Osmond back. Now, the others are going to need to get out through this other, other zone. So I'll just keep them over to here. So Cassian can just move up to there. Osmond, again, we've got sort of like some protection against the stone throwers. Let's just leave him up through here. It's only a 9%. Missed. Not that it matters, I'll just keep on attacking. We get a lucky shot, we did get a lucky shot. And we'll get Drago Slav back up this way. A couple of shot couple of shots there. Now they're going to get a shot in, like they're going to be able to do some damage. Osmond does have a, um, does have the chain lightning. Actually, what else do we have there? No, that's okay. So we just use the chain lightning. Strikes enemy within within lightning, uh, bounce to close enemies at random, uh, with reduced damage each bounce. So we can start the process of killing these off. So a little bit of extra damage in through there. Um, still got two more shots here. Only nine percent. So that one's a seventy-one. One's a fifty-seven. One's down. That's good. Uh, Cassian will kill off. Will kill off this one using Cassian. Good. We can't move after he has his shot there. So that's him done. Then Drago Slav will have um, we'll only have one shot here, but that'll be enough. Now we've got these um, three shots. They're all 66 percenters. Good. Oh, not enough. We haven't taken too much damage. And really the only things we can use here is either going to be Osmond. I might give Osmond some, some chances here. There we go. That was a lucky hit. Okay, so we've got a level up here. Um, I think, yeah, we've got the level up for Steiner, uh, that, which is great. So um, and we, we're gonna, they're, they're going to pick up a new ability. So this is the, um, I guess, the last little portion. Now we've gone through the graveyard. We've now hit the next level. We can now go into the forest, which I won't, I won't do this, but you get the idea. 
as to what's going on uh, with the actual game itself. So it steps up different levels into here and unlocks other aspects so you can play in different areas. Um, we're now up to this one in through here, just a regular week type thing coming up. Another fog event coming up th over through here along with uh, humans are plotting an attack. So mission to kill all is, um, is coming up at that point as well. So have we done all of these? This is your destroy supply. This is a different one again as well. Again, I'm, I don't want this to go on for too long. You get the idea of the game. It's a nice quick game. If the, as far as the level ups are concerned, like with Steiner, I can then just go back in and I then get to choose one of the other abilities. And these come up randomly as well, depending on what you've actually got. So his health goes up. Uh, we've got uh, piercing bow. So shoots an arrow, piercing all enemies in a line. Or we have artillery shot. Launches an arrow uh, above covers, landing a, a straight on an enemy. So there's um, a cooldown of two on that one, cooldown of three on that one. Um, he also has poison, attacks, um, attacks poison the enemy. Okay, so that's another ability that we then just got. So we've got, uh, yeah, this is a critical hit chance. These are just the icons for these. As we pick up other traits, they'll pick up in through here as well. But these will be abilities that unlock down in here, I think. So we've got the, um, I think we'll go the artillery shot. And if we have another look at Steiner, actually that didn't pick it, did it? Oh, he's, he's actually gone up two levels. <laughs> All right, so we get another one. There's the artillery shot there. Uh, we do actually have attack range. So this is actually a, um, this is not an ability. This is actually just a trait. And so we have dodge chance, increases the chance to dodge an enemy attack by 5%. At the moment, we've got zero. Uh, we've got resistance, so reduces incoming damage over time by three. And we also then have attack range. Increase the attack range by one. Uh, all of these are useful. Let's go and do that one there. Now, if we have a look at Steiner again, that attack range now shows at the top. It's not an ability. It's just an actual trait. And so the uh, attack range is now 11 rather than 10. And so it's pretty cool the way it does work. It's just simple. Like in, in all of these, we never look at all of these to see what they've actually got. Uh, not sure where the where the experience actually is. Not sure where that is. Anyway, we've, we can if we wanted to bring in another one. I think I'm just going to save my essence. But it's a really cool little game. Like you know, for uh, as I said before, a um, a little beer and pretzels game. Fast battles, uh, very simple. Um, and like it's it's roguelike, uh, random generation. It ticks all the boxes for me. I love this actually. So um, yeah, you know, this is a real pleasant surprise. Anyway, guys, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of content. And um, I will catch you around.